Hello everybody and welcome back to what I hope is the conclusion of this crusade against the Ottomans. We have borne the brunt of their fury. We've gotten 77% war participation, primarily through battles. Things that we've actually sieged down have not really stuck around because the Ottomans keep, keep liking to send their entire army against us for some reason. Right now, we currently are waiting on Russia to finish up this siege on Sham so that we can head up and hopefully grab Antioch. However, it looks like the Ottomans don't want them to finish that siege, so we'll let, wait for them to lock in, and then we will go reinforce them. There we go. We should have no trouble fighting... Oh, they're actually fighting us here. Rip. Okay, well, we'll try to get there. Hopefully we'll get there in time. Looks like we will. Yeah, we won that. Perfect. Okay. Let's get back redistributed here. Excellent. We do want this siege on Sham to finish. We want to go up here and grab Antioch. Oh, it looks like Russia is going to do that. Or no, that's Tuscany. We'll see if Tuscany actually flips that over to us. Oh no, they're charging off. Hungary might flip it to us. But Russia should finish this siege any moment now. al and Man are now excellently part of our patrimony. So we'll go ahead and head up here now that Russia has finished their siege on Sham. This war should be over relatively soon. Excellent year. Some of our grain farms are having an excellent year, allowing us to feed more troops and so increasing our manpower. That is handy considering that we're currently chilling at negative 45,000 manpower. Since we were fighting the Ottomans on our own for approximately ever. <laughs> okay, all we really care about here is that we occupy Antioch. So that's what we're doing. Russia can occupy this if they want. Although it looks like, no, Russia is going to occupy it. That's actually o occupied by the Mamluks. Wait, are the Mamluks? They are. Well, the Mamluks, of course, are our vassal, so I can just flip those to us. There we go. Perfect. And let's get this force up over to here. This war should be wrapping up relatively soon. Antioch has now come under our occupation. And we can purchase a, a Splendor ability. We are in the Age of Absolutism. We could choose Monthly Devastation change rival cost, fort maintenance on border with rival. That might be interesting. Efficient autonomy. That might be interesting too. Harsh treatment cost. Administrative efficiency. That'd be nice. Yearly absolutism. Let's go with administrative efficiency. There we go. And we can get ourselves admin tech 16, and so we shall. Metallurgy. The process to produce wrought iron was under continuous improvement, and by the early 17th century, the finery process came to overtake the older Osmond process. Iron production could now be specialized, with the working of the iron no longer taking place at the same location as it was mined, and more, stronger, and purer iron would in time lead to developments in many other sectors. Excellent. Okay, so we got that. We can convert a province to Coptic, and we will, Bagirmi, to be precise. We're at 84% religious... Re 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 religious unity is the word I'm looking for. So that's great. We also have occupied up through here, so we don't really care about anything else. We just need to kind of stick together and make sure the Ottomans can't catch any of our armies on their own. And other than that, just be working on the war participation and hope hope that we get either Antioch or Constantinople somehow out of this. Uh, I think we go down here next. And we actually go like this. And just start sieging this fort. Also, I was thinking when I was looking at the um, fort maintenance on border, I was thinking now that the Mamluks are a buffer... I feel like we don't need a fort in Alexandria anymore. So I think we get rid of this and no longer pay the maintenance on it. I think that'll be okay. 
This fort for now will stay unless we get both Jaffa and Dera, in which case we'll destroy it probably. Well, it depends on how far up we go. We'll make that decision after this war, which should be coming to a close relatively soon. The Ottomans don't really have a prayer here. Although they are trying to take back Constantinople, which is a bit unfortunate. And we have no real way to get troops back over there other than walk all the way back around. Because our allies did not think this through. <laughs> oh well. We'll go ahead and go into here next. Ottomans are trying to piece us out. What are they offering? Jaffa and, S and Seda. No thank you. I'll see what Hungary gives us. Hungary offered us territorial gain, or rather promised us territorial gain. So we'll stick with that for now. We can't push up past this fort for now, so that's okay. But the fact that they're asking various members to leave is funny. Indicates that they really don't think they can win this. Also, we can get ourselves the development of maritime law, and so we shall. With more and more countries sending their subjects or citizens abroad on various trading ventures, and with so many living close to each other for, for so long times... For so long times, that's actually what it says. It has become absolutely essential to have at least a basic concept of common laws of the seas. With publications such as Mare Liberum, or the later De Domino Maris Dissertatio, the foundations to an international law of the seas has been laid. Excellent. We can also get Miltech 20, which we should totally do now. Killing grounds. With development of new bastions, engineers began to improve the art of positioning them to channel attacking armies into specially prepared killing grounds, where the defenders could inflict maximum amounts of casualties on the enemy. Combat width increased by 2, in infantry fire plus 0.5, and swivel cannon. And then military tactics and infantry shock. That's why they were doing so much damage to us when they hit Miltech 21. Okay. How are we doing on our institutions, anyway? The answer is poorly. <laughs> it, uh, it hasn't gotten much better. Well, it's actually growing in some areas, at least. Such as our capital, and it's slowly pushing its way down. Very, very slowly. We'll get there eventually, but we desperately need it. It's what's holding us back technologically most of anything, is our lack of printing press. But we just about have Isil sieged, and that would be great. reason we're not splitting up our force here is we don't want the Ottomans to just walk in and attack us when we're this overexposed from our allies all being back here. Gushno Iab and his family. A merchant family from Aden has come to greatly expand our long-range trade with, Andra, with Andra, Andra. I, I imagine I'm completely, 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 apparently I broke. I'm just repeating completely now. I'm completely messing up every single pronunciation. I'm sure of this now. By successfully establishing themselves in both Rajamundri and the Adran hinterlands, they have come to be very influential in both our societies and very rich. This is a situation we could probably make use of. Indeed we could. Let's just gain the trade power in the Goa trade node. That'll be fine. We are currently making, holy crap, 40 ducks a month, almost. Why are we making this much? Well, in part, it's because we have very few troops and we have no manpower to reinforce them with. We can get ourselves swivel cannons, and we should. There we go. Ooh, them rebels, though. Poor, poor Ottomans. Okay, Siege of Isil is over. We'll head up to Ankara next. 
we'll just kind of go like this. What now are you offering? Jaffa and Sadia only. No, thank you. We will pass. We'll see what we get from Hungary. Oh, it looks like the Ottomans might actually beat those rebels. Oh, oh, they did. They're also probably going to take back Constantinople, which is okay. Those are some scary rebels right there. Ottoman noble rebels. We'll move in reinforcements there, and as soon as this is done, we'll move in these guys as well. There we go. In we go. There. That should be taken care of quite easily. Ish. Constantinople has been taken back. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Which means they're probably going to come back this way if, if I don't miss my guess. Hopefully these guys will finish up over here relatively quickly and will work their way across Anatolia. That would be great. Because we can't really take on the Ottomans too well on our own. Oh, looks like they're actually up here trying to take this territory back. Good for them. You do you, Ottomans. If that's the case, we're going to spread out a little bit. They are sending back a 15k stack. Now what? He will see Jaffa and Dara. No thanks. We are currently chilling at 73% war participation. Which is okay. We are a little spread out right now, and that's a little spooky for me. I don't really like that. Okay, he's heading this way. Probably just going to go try to recap. That's fine. He can do that. But, I feel like we want to move into Kangiri here. Okay, you're taking out those rebels. That is fine. You do that, Tuscany. I will siege Hamid. There we go. And Russia is fighting these rebels over here. There we go. We got Kangiri. And Ankara should be falling any moment now. We've kind of drawn a line here just about. Once we take over Sinop, he won't really be able to get through. We converted Jazan, so we're going to do Manabe next. These are very, very small stacks. Ankara is over. So I feel like we walk up here with this force, and then we lock in this, and then this force? No. We can't actually get there. That's fine. And they're actually resieging Constantinople. That's excellent. Shouldn't we have instantly stack wiped that? I feel like we should have instantly stack wiped that. Oh well. We did stack wipe it eventually, so that's all that really matters. We can't really get to you. We can go here. And taking Kokeli here would be huge. It would allow us to walk over once this Siege of Constantinople finishes. And that would be great. An army career. With the growth of our professional army, new career opportunities abound for those with ability and ambition. The old nobles, however, still expect to be rewarded for all the most valuable commissions out of tradition and the centuries during which their lineages have served the crown faithfully. Some of our higher officers are now imploring us to open more opportunities for able men to rise in the ranks, while others oppose this vehemently and maintain that there are qualities that only blood can assure. Uh, we'll gain the army professionalism. 
There we go. And into Kokeli we go. I don't know where the Ottoman army went. I was just realizing that. I think they were pretty much all mercs and ran out of money or something. Uh, yeah, they only have 17,850 troops left. All their mercs are gone. Don't know where that army is. Here's 2k of them. Oh well. Nothing wrong with a little bit of Ottoman smashing every now and again. Ottomans are the worst. They're just a bunch of jerks. New diseases brought from overseas have quickly spread among the tribes and almost annihilated the entire native population in some areas. Let's attempt to assuage their pain. We have a lot of money right now. Mostly because I'm currently saving up in hopes of capturing enough of this territory up here to embrace printing press. <laughs> That's the idea anyway. We also have printing press spreading in several provinces relatively slowly, but it's getting there. So we should be able to adopt it relatively soon, and we'll need around 3,000 ducats for that to happen. So that's what I'm saving up for right now. Cuba is fabricating claims on us. What a bunch of jerks. Get out of here, Cuba. I feel like we should just... This isn't working. Shift consolidate. We'll, we'll use 2k. That works. 1k. I feel like we should just blanket siege this, is what I was saying. It'll go so much faster, and it'll allow us to just make good progress over here. Now that we know that their military is basically gone. There we go. And then this unit would head, like, over here. And finish off the Ottomans. Something like that. Excellent. Now, of course, we can't siege all of this. Mostly because of attrition. And us not having any manpower whatsoever. And we're going kind of backwards in manpower. But we'll shift consolidate this as well. And we'll just pull out a few infantry units here. You can go down here, you can go here, you can go here, and you can go here. And that should finish it up. There are th these couple of, like, this one province here that we can't get to because of this fleet, but other than that, we should be okay. Merchant defects. Our use of mercantilist policies is proving frustrating for some of our merchants, causing some to defect to other countries. Well, we'll lose the mercantilism. Trade efficiency is good. Excellent. You then can go here, you can go here, and in fact, we can pull out one of you and you can go here. There we go. Fantastic. So this is going great. This is how I wanted this crusade to go. Not when we were fighting the Ottomans on our own. That was just annoying. There we go. We control that. You can go there. Are we the war leader? No, we're not the war leader. Why are you telling us to call for peace? We're not the war leader. Siege of Sinop is over. So we're going to go ahead and send this force back home, honestly. Off you go. And then we'll just finish up our various little sieges over here. Like so. France wants military access. Mali and Noop. No thanks. I don't want anything to do with that. Constantinople has now been taken again. Perfect. There we go. Group these guys up. Group these guys up. You've come under the occupation of Ethiopia. Perfect. So you can actually split back up and go to one each there. And then we'll just move this force straight into here. And then all that's left... Oh, there we go. Everlasting victory. Hungarian crusade against the Ottomans. They're seeding a bunch of stuff. 
we'll take a look at what we actually got out of that. Hungary owes us 40 favors. Great. That is fantastic. We'll retreat these guys to Gaza. We'll retreat these guys down to Gondor, our capital. It'll take a while to recover from this particular war, but it looks like we got Jaffa out of it. Which isn't the best. We also need to be concerned about Hungary having a border on Constantinople. That's definitely a concern. We'll go ahead and core that. And I don't think we got anywhere near enough to be able to embrace printing press, which is unfortunate. We are at 6.3% of our development. Okay, well, we'll get there. It's spreading. We're at 95% here. 94% here. 92 here. 72 there. That's unfortunate. So yeah, we're getting close-er. <laughs> to having that done. And we'll just need to pull back, regroup, let our manpower recuperate. Throwing all of those troops at us really did a number on our manpower. But we got Kishin converted over, and we'll go ahead and convert Minya next. Excellent. And we'll be able to for sure grab Antioch, I think, in the next war with the Ottomans. Which we're going to need to start doing those quite regularly, about every time we can, pretty much. Growing city request privileges. The burghers of an increasingly important trading city have approached the Nagusa Nagas today, asking to be granted privileges to be able to make the region thrive without the hindrance of many of our normal taxes. Should we provide them with these means to grow, they assure us that the economy of the area would quickly improve, resulting in more wealth for the state. So, gain two base tax in Mombasa... The burghers would gain control of Mombasa, or they would lose 15 loyalty and lose 10 influence. I feel like we give it to them. There we go. We can always take it back later, if necessary. And I believe the base tax would remain. Okay, so our troops are no longer black flagged. That's excellent. So, who is going where? This is our only 19 4 and 4. There we go, 24 4 and 4. This one is 28 4 and 4. We're going to go ahead and have these guys be drilling. There we go. And we're just going to keep these guys in Gondor. We haven't needed anybody down here for a while, but we do want to attack Matapa fairly soon, so... We're going to go ahead and actually just group them all up here in Beja, just so that we have the maneuver pips from the general and don't have this massive trail of troops. Come on, you can get there. You've got this. You've got this. You can do it. You can do it. There you go. Good job. We're going to stick them right down here in Masapa. <laughs> there we go. I mean, they still have to march all the way from, like, Constantinople down to Zimbabwe, but they'll be fine. They'll, they're, they're just going to have their feet hurt a little bit. It's not a problem. So we are currently at 37,000 manpower in the hole. We are gaining 805 a month, and Portugal is claiming Kilwa. Good luck with that, Portugal. You do know you're going to have to fight Hungary, the Commonwealth, and Russia. <laughs> Ottomans actually have an exclave over here now. They are currently at war with the Knights and the Commonwealth. Ooh, that's... I don't think the Commonwealth can core Constantinople. The truce with us is up in 93, so we have a lot of time. We're going to keep converting for now. We will convert Angosh next. And I feel like once this army gets down here, we kind of declare on Matapa immediately. They are allied with Kazembe and Nakor.
we would need a second army down here just because of the number of nations we'd be fighting. Maybe that's something for another episode. We are getting pretty close to, to time for me to take a break, so I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. We did win that major war against the Ottomans. Barely. I mean, we held them off, kind of. While the AI just took all their stuff. <laughs> But that was a that was a good thing though. We were two Miltex behind and we were not prepared to fight them and we were able to hold them off reasonably well. So, I'll take that as a a very good thing indeed. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put that cut in here and uh I will see you all next time.